guys, Coates Brothers Firearms here. My name is Walter. I'm Aaron. Um, made a video today. We are shooting at 500 yards with cast bullets in the 308 Winchester. Um, we tried to do this about a month and a half ago and had pretty dismal results. Uh, we found out real quick that pushing a 200 grain bullet at 1600 feet per second doesn't make it to 500 yards. <laughs> Once that bullet goes subsonic, it just, it looked like helicopter blades. <laughs> you could have probably done better with a slingshot. So today we went out with some different bullets, which we will show you in the video, and we got them up well over 2,000 feet per second, and we were successful hitting um, a 12 inch steel plate at 500 yards. So we had three different bullets that we, that we tested today. All of them are made by NOE. One of them is a copy of the Lyman 311299. Uh, the other one is a copy of a Seiko 315. And then we have the 30 XCB bullet. which that proved to be the best today. Um, I used IMR 4831 exclusively for all three bullets. And we had decent results grouping at 100 yards. We'll show you all that as well. And uh, keep your eyes out for a future video. We'll be kind of discussing how we went about assembling the loads to do this because there's kind of some little tips and tricks to get cast bullets to shoot halfway decent at those speeds. And these are being shot out of your Remington 700? The Remington 700, chamber 308, um, kind of just a plain Jane stock, heavy barrel Remington 700. It does have a McMillan stock and a Leupold Variax 3, 3.5 three to 10 mil dot scope. And the, uh, the XCB had a extremely low standard deviation. Yeah, yeah, the velocities were right at 2255, somewhere in that neighborhood, and a standard deviation of 4.09. <laughs> I was really, really surprised to see that. And at those speeds, uh, I had a limited amount of loaded ammo, so I was only able to shoot one uh, five shot group at 100, but it, it measured right at inch and a half, but Three of the rounds were all in one hole, and the other two were just below that, and they were in the same hole. So that very easily could have been shooter error. Um, maybe not quite the same cheek weld. I don't know. We'll get an up-close view of these later. You guys probably can't see this from here, but this bullet we were chasing all around the plate. Just up, down, left, right. And then I had remembered that this one only doing... I don't remember the exact speed, it was just over 2,000 feet per second, it was going uh, subsonic at 475 yards. So once again, right in that real funny transonic stage, uh, weird things start to happen to bullets. So you got to get that speed up there. 500 yards, that's the longest, I've, furthest I've ever shot. It's um, a long ways for cast. Anything with a cast bullet. I imagine three or four hundred yards would probably be quite a bit easier using these same loads. But uh, I know there's a lot of guys that are trying to get the real high speeds out of powder coated bullets. These are all just traditionally sized and lubed so it can be done with with bare naked bullets too. So I think that probably just about does it. Speed! Yeah. <laughs> That was pretty high, wasn't it? Yep. High and right, but that's okay.
Same hole as your last one. Right next to the first one. Nice. That went over the top. Windage looked good. Any idea how high? Probably at least about a mil. One mil at 500 is what? Eight, 18 inches? 3.6 times five. 18 to 20 inches. Okay, I come down 10 minutes. Okay. You ready? Send it. That was, windage look, still looked good, but it was definitely low. You probably should go back to where you were and take another shot. The first one definitely went well over. That one definitely went well under. Okay. I don't know if maybe you need to split the difference, but I'd say take one more shot with the original calculation. Okay, this is back to where we started from. Okay. just over the top, maybe come down half or a quarter of the amount that you did last time. Yeah. Nice. 500 yards with cast bullets. I like it. Yeah. That was just just slightly over the top. Okay. Yeah.
just off the right side of the plate. All right. Elevation looked good. Same thing, just off the right hand side. All right, well that's all for that round, but hey, that got a couple hits. Hey guys, if you are into cast bullets or want to learn more about shooting cast bullets, I highly suggest checking out artfulbullet.com. It's a great cast bullet forum. Um, there's a lot of really smart guys there. Um, I've been doing this for almost 20 years, but cast bullets and rifles is still pretty new to me, especially the higher velocity stuff. I wouldn't be able to do this stuff we just did today without the knowledge and help from all of these guys on this site. So give it a, give it a look, artfulbullet.com.